Is my mommy coming back? No. Am I gonna stay with you? I don't know. Maybe you, will you tell me a story? Sure. Um, there ain't no books here. You want me to make one up? Mm hmm Okay. I like happy ending. <laughs> Don't we all, sweetheart? <laughs> okay, once upon a time, um, there lived a boy whose magic was known throughout the land. Um, and he lived a very happy life with his mommy and his daddy and his grumpy little sister, Lulabelle. What's his, what's his name? Who? The boy with magic. Wow. His name was Marco, of course. This is my home. Yeah. This, this is your home. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. <laughs> you right? I'm so sorry. Aww. That's good. <laughs> Miss Fleming, would you share with the court your thoughts on Marco's progress at school? Well, if, if you merely look at his academic growth, it's clear that he, he flourished intellectually. But I think the most interesting aspect has been the improvement in Marco's social skills. So in your estimation, the change you've seen is in part due to Mr. Donatello and Mr. Flagger? Absolutely. Mr. Donatello and Mr. Flagger are as compassionate and loving parents as I've ever seen. While Mr. Donatello and Mr. Flagger obviously love the child, it is this court's opinion that they have, at times, subjected him to inappropriate situations, and that their openly homosexual lifestyle could be assumed by the child to be normal lead to confusion and sexual deviation. <laughs> Mommy, Just a few brief lines about a mentally handicapped kid named Marco who died all alone under a bridge after trying to find his way home for almost three days. Since you never got to meet him in person, and since this article is short on details, I wanted you to know who Marco really was. He was a sweet kid, and smart, and funny. He had a smile that could light up a room. He loved junk food. Chocolate donuts were his drug of choice. He was the world's greatest disco dancer. And he liked to have a story told to him every night, as long as the story had a happy ending. Marco, Loved a happy ending.